is Monday, which means it's time for another video. This is actually not going to be a collection video today. Um, it's going to be something a little different. Um, since it's Monday, I'm going to be posting this or recording this a couple days earlier. But Tuesday, if you've heard from my last video, Tuesday is the one year anniversary of my dad passing. So I figure I'd do a little something for my dad if this isn't something that you guys like i'm sorry i just figured this would be a good video to do um these are just some of his i'm gonna be talking about some of his favorite horror films that he liked and some movies that he introduced to me um one movie he absolutely loved loved um it was one of the last thing i actually picked it up the day that he passed it was my dvd which i don't have the disc I think it was still in the player but Motel Hell um I gave him um I let him borrow my DVD of Motel Hell it was like a double pack of like Motel Hell and Deranged I never seen Deranged because I bought the Scream Factory of Motel Hell and I never got it back because I moved out and he absolutely loves that movie or loved that movie I should say um, definitely one of his favorites. He also really liked Freddy vs. Jason. The funny thing is, my family, when I, when I was very young, we all went to see Freddy vs. Jason in theaters. Like, every one of us. And, and the thing is, my dad introduced me to a lot of horror movies as well. Like, The Exorcist, I recall when I was around, like, five sitting down with my dad <laughs> watching The Exorcist and you would think oh maybe a five-year-old shouldn't watch that but I don't recall being very scared like it never freaked me out and there's a while there as I got older he didn't really want to want me to watch horror films but <laughs> I used to go to my mom's when they um got divorced I used to stay at my mom's like every other week or rather weekend, I should say, and I would watch horror movies there and tell her not to tell him. And I think he knew that I still watch horror films, even though he tried to get me to stop. Um, like, even as I got older, um, like, before I'd go to work or something, he we would sit down and watch a horror film. Like, I showed, I showed him stuff, too, that he's never seen, like, The Burning. He never saw the burning and I asked him if he wanted to watch it and he was all down for it and that's a thing it's crazy because he introduced me to a lot of it and my mom they both introduced me to a lot of these horror films and as I got older I introduced them to a lot of horror films because I really like the like obscure like 80s slasher films um so it's crazy to think like, I got my knowledge from them. I mean, I know a little bit more than them now, but um, I wouldn't be doing sitting here doing YouTube videos, honestly. But I know things. <laughs> but, yeah, he he knew a lot about horror. Like, Motel Hell definitely was his favorite. Freddy vs. Jason probably was a close second. He used, to, he used to just watch Freddy vs. Jason just to watch it, like... I remember for a while, like, when I was younger, I didn't have Freddy vs. Jason. He would always ask me for, um, so he could watch it. Same with Motel Holland, and I had Motel Holland. I never saw that disc back, but it's okay, because I still ha I took the case, so I still have the case with me, and same with music. He introduced me to a lot of good music, like Judas Priest. I honestly wouldn't probably listen to Judas Priest if it wasn't for my dad, but... I love Judas Priest, like, a lot, so I just figured I'd do this little video just to tell you guys some some of my, my dad's favorite horror films. He also loved the Halloweens and the Friday the 13th and all that, um, Nightmare on Elm Street. I'm th pretty sure when I was younger I saw the first Nightmare on Elm Street with my dad as well, um, another movie that I probably shouldn't have watched at, like, five, but... <laughs> here I am today <laughs> but I hope you guys enjoyed this um and dad I miss you every day um it definitely doesn't get easier honestly it's been a, it's been a year and it really 
doesn't get easier, but I know that he's looking down and probably thinking I'm crazy because of all the fucking movies that I have. I'm constantly buying shit, too. Um, but I hope you guys enjoyed. Comment up on this video. Let me know what you guys want me to review. I will be doing Skinner as soon as I watch it. Um, I'll be doing a review on that. But in the meantime, I'll see you guys on Thursday.